I'm here with a straight up champion pro, George Chavalo. Tell me about what's going on today. Besides what's going on tonight. Yes. Here we are. And, <laughs> and it's, a, it's a boxing show. Uh, and it's, there's a, t a title fight going on. It'll be the main event. They're both good athletes. They both got a pretty good history. So it should be a fun night. And what do you? How, how's the love for boxing still in your career and what you're doing? How's your love for this sport still? Well, once you're a fighter, once you've had as many fights as I've had, had the 97 pro fights, I, I fought everybody. Uh, pretty well, all the contenders and the world champions. I fought six world champions. Uh, I fought a whole bunch of guys in the top ten. I fought about uh, 25 guys who were, in the, who were in the top ten in the world. So I've had a pretty ex extensive history that way. And uh, I'm proud to be a fighter because to me, fighting is the ultimate sport. The one, there's never one sport where one dominates uh, over his opponent, uh, like, like in boxing. People still say, Muhammad Ali, your fight. Because off the record, you guys would literally say, how's your wife, how your kids? But crazy to fight in the ring. How is that still incredibly in your history with renowned fighting? How was that fight? Well, it's the fight that people most remember me by. When they, when they think of my name and think about the fighters I fought, they, they, they always talk about the Ali fight, especially the fight in Toronto. Uh, 15 rounds, 15 tough rounds. And uh, it's a crazy way to make friends. But we're, yeah. we're friends. We talk to each other on the phone every, every once in a while. We stay in touch. And he's, he's a very nice guy. I mean, Muhammad's a, a, a real nice individual. If you met him, you'd, you'd like him, you know. And uh, he's a very likable guy, very, and a very uh, good person. He's, he's great with his family. He's an outstanding parent, which, you know, uh, which I have first uh, hand uh, on that. And he's, he's a great parent. And uh, he, he's uh, just a, a, a very decent human being. So what was your favorite fight? My favorite fight? My favorite fights are all the ones I win. So, uh, <laughs> so my favorite fight would be probably the Doug Jones fight, uh, uh, Mike DeJohn fight. There's a few, about 10 of them that are, that are really special for me. Any tips and tricks for people that want to get into boxing this day and age? What would you advise them to do? Well, if you want to be a fighter, if you want to be an outstanding fighter, if you want to be a top 10 fighter, if you hope to be champion of the world, you have to train hard. You got it's, it's a very boxing is a very demanding sport. It's not like a lot of other sports where you can sit down and you, you take time off and you, you can be sloppy with your diet. Or, you know, boxing demands a lot more than that. Boxing demands strictness. Boxing demands control uh, of, the, of your fight and of your training. And uh, it's 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 a sport that. Uh, uh, demands and uh, it pays back. It'll pay it back big time if you do things the right way. Any last words for all your fans out there? Anything else you want them to know about you? Well, just the fact that uh, no, no matter what you do in life, especially I'm talking to young people, yep. no matter what you do, and if you're going to be a fighter, you got to aim high. You have to aim high. And it's the toughest sport in the world. And the only way you can make do do it properly and have success in it is to do it the right way and prepare yourself, because boxing is tough. It's not an easy sport. It's very tough. And uh, so when I said to, when I talk to young guys, I say, man, you, it's a tough sport. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of motivation. And uh, if you and if you do those things, you have a shot to do well in life. Got it. Thank you for being on the show. Okay. Have a good my, one. My pleasure. Awesome, Thank man. Thank you.